ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am your hubba host, Skull World James here, and allow me to welcome you guys right back into the incredible world of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I hope you guys are ready. Let's hit continue, and let's jump right back into this incredible game. As usual, our short little recap for the episode. In our last episode, which is part two of this incredible series, we played more as Alexios, and we went around, and we went around the island. And what we ended up doing is, first we collected our debt from Dirtus. Dirtus had our money, he actually did. But, Marcos was trying to rip him off for double. Even though, we started to collect our money and we got it back in full. But, as we went back up to Marcos, we found out that Cyclops is going to wreck him if he does not pay Cyclops the money. So we got to find a way to make all that money. Also, we ended up retrieving, uh, retrieving a spear for a priest, a priestess, and her sanctuary. We end up helping her, and they are going to do more with that spear, helping other people with it. And we also got a drag me reward. After that, we also helped a woman who fixed up our bow. And we helped her kill off some bandits and actually, well, get all of her wood back because it kept on getting attacked. The last thing we did was turn in our mercenary work mission because we ended up collecting all the wolf pelts that were needed on our way because we were killing a lot of, of wolves. But, ladies and gentlemen, that is all we really did in the last episode. We found out a lot about the story, we found out more about Alexios and his relationship with Marcos. Marcos helped out Alexios after Alexios went through a traumatic event that separated him from his family. And he ended up on shore where Marcos found him and took Alexios a kid off the streets, making Alexios into the Mistios that we see today. But, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys are ready. Let's return back into this incredible game of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And let us enjoy. If you guys are ready, please like, share, and subscribe. But I just hope you guys are enjoying watching the series so far. Until then, let us begin. Alright, we're back in it from where you left off. Let's get it. Alright, so we've got a couple things. I also got that fast travel point up there in the last episode. And we also got a lot of side quests over there that we can pick up real quick. I'm going to go pick them up. And after that, we're going to go talk to Marcos. We're going to do an eye for an eye. Okay, quick loot, quick loot. Where is it? Right there. Got it. All right, we got some wood. All right, I guess we're talking to Phoebe. Let's talk and see what our little friend needs. How'd they go with Marcos? How it always goes. I didn't get my money, and I'm running another errand for him. Why do you let him boss you around? I owe him a debt from the past. Oh, did you borrow Vrachmi? Not that kind of debt. Few people would take in a runaway they caught thieving. I was just a kid. Huh. I'm just a kid, and I've done pretty good for myself. What do you want, Phoebe? You know Kausos? The town on the other side of the island. Why? People there are sick. And my friend Kina is too. There is a blood fever. They say it's a curse and they need help from the gods. I told you, I'm not a god. But Icaros... ...is a bird. That doesn't mean you can't help. Ah, oh, all right. I'll look into it. So, as I said, I am going to use a little bit of knowledge for my series, and I, I think I know how I'm going to approach this. I'm going to let you guys see how I'm going to approach this. I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. Let's talk to Marcos first, and then we'll go and do all these missions, but that mission is going to be interesting. Let's just say that. Actually, 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 before we talk to Marcos, I mean, you know what? Since we're so close, I'll talk to him already, and I'm going to go get that other side quest, and if that side quest is like right there, I'm going to go do it. Now let's talk to Marcos. Here you are, and not a moment too soon. I've dealt with the bandits and gotten the wood for the boyer. I had every confidence in you, my friend. Well, your plan? Right. 
The Cyclops and I have a score of Drak me to settle. The same score as you, my rough and tumble friend. He wouldn't be after me if it wasn't for you, my friend. <laughs> eh, right. But I swear, this will put an end to it. If he insists on sending his goons after us, we'll make sure his last good day was yesterday. Let's hear it then. What do I have to do? What will we do, you mean? As the brains to your brawn, I consider it a joint effort. <sighs> of course you do. Think, what does the Cyclops value most? His men? His land? His ships? No, his obsidian eye. Get to the point, Marcos. Oh, fine. We're going to steal it. Are you crazy? You borrow his rack, then you steal his eye? Having it means we win. Then it goes to market. We kill two birds with one obsidian eye. <laughs> He'd better hold still, or he'll lose both eyes. No, no! It has to be done without the Cyclops knowing. You cannot be seen. Then my new bow will come in handy. He keeps the eye in his house. It's too valuable to wear out. A wise choice until you show him the error of his ways. Wait for the sun to set, sneak in, and then bring me the eye. Better be worth something. Do you know how much obsidian goes for in Kefalonia? I've never seen it. Exactly. And not only is it obsidian, it's veined with gold. Gold! It's no wonder he saves it for special occasions. So we'll use the profits to pay him off. It will pay for the bulk of it. A vineyard's expensive, you know. I don't know where the Cyclops lives. Keep to the west side of the island. There, you will find his lair. Fine. But you won't get away with being cheap. Cheap? You wound me, Alexios. It's your defining trait. Bring me the eye and I'll prove you wrong. Remember, not a soul can see you. Got it. Pull this off and our heads won't be the Cyclops' trophies when he comes back. Alright, open your map to find your objective. We also got a location thing real quick. Because I'm so close to this, I do want to find it. There's a chest in there. I guess that chest is it. Now to find the eye. If it's as valuable as Marcos says, it'll be hidden. I won't steal. For now, I won't steal. I'm good. I'm a merc, but I think I figured out what I want my merc to be. No mercy. If you attack me, I'm killing you. But if you beg for forgiveness and all that, I'll let you go. Also, if if you ha if you do something to my friends, you die on the spot. If you do something to my family, you die on the spot. That's how it works. So we're mercs, but we also have honor and compassion. You know, weird thing for mercs, but I want the, our, I want our character to be interesting. I want Alexios to be interesting. Let's talk to you and get this side quest up and running. You don't look so good. I angered them, I think. The gods. It's possible. I hear they can be vengeful. I used to worship Hermes at the Drogorati cave. There are gods there too, you know. In the cave? They grant wishes if you bring them tribute. So everyone makes an offering and asks for something in return. Ah, uh, no wishes of mine granted though. I'm running out of money and tribute. I'm poor myself, you know. I did something wrong. You know Hermes. He can be a trickster. Oh, but there are many gods in this cave. All asking for different things. Go hear them yourself. You'll get my last tribute if you do. I need to know if they're real. All right, don't worry. I'll go. Oh, thank you. Remember? Be careful where you step, Mistyos. You'll be walking on holy ground. We'll see about that. All right, let's go do it. I want to go do Hungry Gods. Let's go do it real quick. Hit up my boy. Interesting. A bunch of enemies in that cave, interestingly enough. Bandits. All right, let's go. Pull out my torch. Alright. 
starting to see everything a bit better now. Investigate. Someone dropped offerings here. Looks like they were trying to carry them away behind the statue. Hmm. Interesting. There's a draft here. A crack in the wall. Let's board the area behind the wall. Got it. I think I've already figured out what's been going on. And if that is the case, then I don't that want is to be spotted genuinely here. sad. Popping shots off just yet. Huh? Is someone trying to mess with me? Come on, bud. Come here. Come here. What? Shut up. Scum. Stealing from people who want their wishes to come true? Oh, you're scum of the earth. Alright, I think we got the bandit leader, that is. Right here, you Malaka. What do you think this is, bud? What was that? Come on, bud. Come on, come on, come on. Two bodies for one bush. I think that's all good. Rack me. Loot. Ooh, mercenary belt and everything. Dang, yeah, pretty nice. And got it. Along. People should have known something was off. <laughs> and here's all got it. Man, look at all the stuff we just got, dude. That's crazy. Quick and quick quick clearing. That's all I can say, boy. If you all see me, I'm a sniper beast. Like, don't don't do that to people. Come on. People are literally trying to get their dreams and wishes made. And trying to get out of being poor or not having as much. And these men tried to rip them off. You get what you get. Pretty sure we wrecked them all though, that, that for sure. We destroyed them. Ooh. There's even more back here. How far does this thing even go to? I don't think I could have collected anything from there. Oh, well, I'm sorry, I put you under there. Sit down. Oh, I love this. Yoink. Right in the back. Come, here, come on, come on. Hello. Man, Ikaro is so useful, dude. Holy yeah. crap, he is useful. AF. God, Phobos is such a good horse, dude. Or oh, this horse of Phobos. to get my arrow back. Should be good now. Alright, let's have a talk, bud. Man, but that does suck, but at least we're able to clear out the cave. That is pretty good. And we took him out like a no sniper gods ghost. In the caves, only bandits stealing people's hopes and drag me. <gasps> I knew it! Thieves! At least you know you won't face Zeus's wrath. Maybe he'll take pity on you. I hope Zeus brings his wrath on those bandits. Don't worry. I brought mine. That should be good enough. Alright, we got Drag Me Back and everything. Anyone? How is that guy not dead? Or how is that not one not dead? Alright, level 4, baby! Alright, we're looking good. We're going up the levels pretty good. 
Right, at least we got all our arrows back, which is good. All right. <coughs> Sorry about that. Quick cough. But, hey, right, we have some abilities for us. We do have some abilities. Let's check it. Nothing there for now. Oh, I remember. I, want, I wanted Revelation. Revelation seems like a top-tier ability. Like Jesus. So it'll show us all the loot in the proximity. That That's gonna work out. An eye for an eye. The blood fever. So that's a character story. What's the difference? That's all I need to know. Plays only quests you've met. People asking. Add-ons. Odyssey. Got it. Let's go do an eye for an eye for now. Let's go do that. So that ability helps us see everything in the proximity. That helps out a lot. Alright, onwards we go. I might, I might just take it. I might just steal it. Because we are still assassins. I'm not really a thief, but it might be the thing that we're looking for. Besides, I can just hide. Star. All right, now another thing that I've been forgetting to do is we need to uh, equip some uh, better equipment on ourselves real quick. We got level three assassin damage if it goes up. I might have to wear that. Level four hundred damage, hundred damage. I'll do that. Then we can dismantle the equipment, and it'll just give us better stuff so that we can upgrade our equipment even more. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty good system. Also, sorry about if I cough a lot right now. I think I have like a little bit of a cold, so if I cough a lot, sorry. But I have been just trying to avoid coughing because I don't want it, want to interrupt the gameplay. So hopefully, you guys don't mind. But I will not be, I will not cough that much. Do not worry, okay? But yeah, let's dismantle you, you. I don't need that. Cause we're gonna find a crap ton of better equipment, that's for sure. That is a fact. So, let's just try to do better. Alright, now let's go. Us, let's go! Come on! Hold up. That guy's a Off we go. Now, right? I kinda wanna take on that bounty hunter, dude. I'm gonna try to- I'm gonna try to do it. I wanna try to do it. If it comes down to it, I can just try to escape. I just want my reward. Come on. Run it. Shoot, 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 shoot. I forgot. Run it, run it, run it. One, shoot, watch out, watch out, watch out. God, that's such BS. We need to go, we need to go. Focus. Focus, where are you? Focus, focus, focus. Dang it! He, he started sniping at me, and Phobos came right at that moment. Shoot! Dang it, dang it. That sucks a lot. God dang it. Hopefully I, we had an auto save or something, but I'm sad, dude. Dang it, I tried to take him on, so we are literally outclassed by him at the moment just because of his level. And that is garbage, dude. God dang it. This is gonna be tough, that is for sure. This is gonna be tough. Hopefully we didn't lose all of our stuff. Hopefully we're just gonna go back from right where we, I guess, finished our mission, I'd have to say. Like, when we were killing all those goats and crap. Okay. Okay, okay, we're good. We are good. We're good. We're good. Alright, we got- we gotta- we gotta get our level up a bit, you know? We gotta level up. We gotta do some solo leveling or something, because Jesus Christ, dude. He was taking no damage, and then he kept on getting out of our combos. I hate that. So we're gonna have to go deal with it. Okay, Soclipes lives on Kefalonia. His home is west of the Cursed Valley of Pavi. So it says that I should be inside the Cyclops' lair. Cursed Valley of Pali. North? Alright, so let me see. Blood Fever, that's that. 
it's west of that, so lumber shipyard, that's that. Hmm, so it'd have to be over there, maybe? Let's go check it. When it comes to directions, I am terrible. Alright. Phobos can handle it, though. Phobos is doing it. Behind us, who wants it? A wolf, I think? Yeah, it's a wolf, but he can't really bother us anymore, boy. Look at all these animals, dude. I could do so much hunting. It's crazy. Hey, alright, we're close, we're close. So I was right, I was right. Alright. Ricardos, let's go do some scouting. Hello, I. I see you. That's a bad joke, Alexios. <laughs> God, that's a bad pun. Jesus. <laughs> Alright. We're on our way. Let's go. I need cover. If I'm quiet, I can hide in the bushes. I thought that didn't kill for a second. I was just a tad worried. Alright. You gotta press up to do that. Okay. So the all-revealing thing, or the Eye of Revelation thing, kicks in when you have to hold up. I keep on messing up on that a bit. Else, we got that. We got some quick drag knee we can get. Alright, now we got a tightrope. Malaka. Must be some eye to have that much protection. I have to stay out of view. Let me call up Icaros again. Alright, there's one guard right there, or another guard right there. Anything over there, maybe? Nothing, nothing, nothing. And yeah, there's one guard right here. Right. So before I do anything, that fool out of his misery. I might just have to go down and assassinate him, but then again, do I really want to do that? I can climb back up, so... I'll assassinate him. Okay, hurry up, hurry up. Carry, carry, carry. Get into the bushes. He can drop their body. Alright, alright. I still don't understand how to drop the bodies in this game, dude. Hey, Stop. I gotta move his body quick. into this bush right here. Come here, bud. Come here. Right here, right here, right here. Come here. The dead are not allowed to speak, my boy. Who is doing that? Gotcha. Bye bye. I need to kill this guy down here too. Just to make sure that there are no loose ends that could end up discovering what I did. What do you think this is, bud? But I think that's death. Alright, now we're good. I think we should be fine now. Alright, now we gotta continue onwards. Should be fine, should be fine. We're chillin'. Curve my bullets. Oh. I missed. What's for the arrow? Bro, she keeps on dodging. What the heck? It came from over here. Would I have been? 
<laughs> fall down, fall down. This is a really risky play by my part, honestly. Really risky. When you think they're gonna be tougher than they actually are. <laughs> Got a better bow. I might actually equip that real quick. Let me equip that. Cause our bow damage is absolutely ripping these kid, these people to shreds. And this is a level four, so assassin damage goes up too. Stay down. Just to make sure no no loose ends. I ain't missing this shot, bud. I swear to God, dude, why is that such a difficult thing to hit? Like, Jesus Christ. Should be fine though, it's just one person and all the rest are now dead, so. Yeah, should be fine. And we got the eye. Just to see real quick, let me ping it up. Okay, so there is a bunch of stuff we can still loot, which is good. My god dang, that skill comes in clutch, boys. Alright, we got another bow. Hunter's bow this time. Look at all that track me. Hold up. Be gone. Man, we dropped that real quick. Give me that fur, boy. Nope, wrong thing. There we go. Bunches of more loot. Alright, we should be fine now. There's one last thing I'll grab right here, and then I'm gonna head out. Ooh. Alright, let's go. I do be slaying all animals. Boy, no animals get my good treatment. We cleared that up pretty well, though. The Cyclops doesn't mess around. that point to spare. I let no animals live, even lions, the so-called king of the jungle, don't go. Unless you're a good boy or a cat, if you're hostile towards me, I will end you. Hey, we should be fine, though. What's up, mate? You just walking? Time for a ride! Oof, this mission took a hot minute, though. But we were able to complete it, though. That was pretty fun. That whole assassin's route. 
that bounty hunter is nearby, and I really don't like how close he is starting to get to it. <laughs> After I talk to Marcos, I'm gonna do one more mission, and I'm gonna call that an episode. Be careful! You know how many of his guards were there? All for a fucking rock. This rock could buy a house, my friend. And yet, it's still not enough to pay back the Cyclops. Oh, don't be upset. Think of all the fun we've had. The Cyclops is going to kill us, Marcos. It's as simple as that. And there's nothing fun about it. This will work, I promise you. Would I lie to you? Don't make me answer that. Take the eye, but don't sell it yet. No vendor would believe we came by it lawfully. They know exactly who it belongs to. Fine. Better your pocket than his socket. I think that's enough for one day. Here, Marcos. Uh, wait, I saw a boat. One I've never seen before. So? The vessel's too good for this dirty town. It must be the Cyclops, and he brought friends. He's back. Ugh, I can never catch a break, can I? Take them out, and that's one less thing to deal with. Besides, these strangers look rich as Chrysos. The Cyclops pays them well. It's win-win, my friend. It can't hurt. What do I have to lose? You? You're a winner if I ever saw one. Then where are they? In an abandoned house on the eastern coast. Who knows what golden fortunes shine in their hideout? Send them to Hades, then loot them for all they have. We'll be rich! The eastern coast. Can you be more specific? I think they've settled in an abandoned house. By a small forest south of Sami. So, if these visitors aren't from Kefalonia, where did they come from? All I know is Kefalonia will be the last place they'll ever see. I'm keeping some of these golden fortunes, though. No negotiations. Not even a drachme for the man who sent you? The rest goes to pay your debt. These are my terms. Oh, fine, fine. Now teach those strangers what it means to be Kefalonian. Draw blood or bleed. All right, so we have a couple things now that we can do. All right, how much XP? Jesus, that's a nice bit, honestly. We got Fancy Guest, which is an interesting quest. We'll be killing off some people that are visiting, maybe from the Cyclops. But the one mission that I want to do first, the one mission that I want to do that I talked a little bit about at the beginning of the episode is... Sorry, wrong thing. Went to the main menu on accident. We're going to go do Blood Fever. Now, while we do this mission, I'm going to be keeping a lot of things in mind. But we got to go talk to the sick villagers. Now, while we do this mission, uh, I'm not going to reveal anything to you guys. I already know that. I already know what route I'm going to choose. But... After hearing Phoebe tell me something, I'm gonna have to listen to it. Besides, we live in Corona times, I'm pretty sure I know what I'm gonna have to do. And if you guys don't know what I'm gonna do, hopefully this doesn't surprise you too much. But, let's begin. Look at this destroyed village, dude. This place is wrecked. God. What's happened here? Jesus Christ. Alright, let's talk. won't help you. This sickness must be destroyed by our hands. We have no choice. Help us! He won't let us go. What's going on? Kausos was consumed by plague. We couldn't keep up with the bodies. It was spreading. We had to intervene. They killed our brothers, our neighbors. We survived the massacre, but he'll kill us now. The gods have abandoned us. The sick must join the dead if we are to save the living. Is there no hope for a cure? Nothing has worked. Sacrifice, prayers, 
Healers won't come near us. Soldiers won't let us leave. The gods won't answer our prayers. You burned the whole village? Many knights were lost praying. We had to take action. To scorch the blood fever out of Gaussos. But I don't know anything about the plague. <sighs> there is nothing you can do. No! If you intervene, I will be forced to defend the gods' wills. Save us from him! Have pity! We aren't even that sick! We'll get better! Nobody gets better! This is the only way all of Kefalonia will save itself from extermination. Please! We have children! Think of them! Don't regret stopping here, Mistios. Alright. So, I know how this is gonna go. I know what choice I'm gonna have to make. And to stop a, a, a plague from spreading across the rest of the world and the rest of Kefalonia, you have to think about the sentries. They don't have cures. They don't have any of that. They will continue to get sick. So by my reasoning, I have to say no to this. I have no say I'm in this. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be involved in this. We don't have to die. How many others will die if I free you? You have blood on your hands. You've acted on the gods' behalf. They'll bless you for this. You... you didn't save them? What about Kina? She's my friend. It's not that simple. You don't understand. How do you know? I know that you didn't help anyone. There was no right decision to make. Nobody wins. I hope you're right. Sometimes good people die, Phoebe. No matter how much we don't like it. I know. I just wish it wasn't true. the blood fever god that was a tough thing to do honestly they had children they had everything they had a life they had a family yet in the end i couldn't even save them because they were infected with a plague that at this point in time in the world probably would not even be able to be cured but ladies and gentlemen i think i'm gonna call that the end of this episode i hope you guys enjoyed i'm your humble host cold world dreams here and i'm signing out I love you guys. Until then, au revoir and peace. Later.